Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to take a look at the best glitches in Halo Infinite so far. So, Halo Infinite's only in the second flight right now. Full game is not going to be out for quite a bit. But, there's already been quite a few funny and interesting glitches. So, we're going to take a look at a few of them for today's video and just see how the game's doing so far. And we're going to start with probably one of the most hilarious and more famous glitches, which is the duplicating wet floor signs glitch and as the name would imply you are duplicating wet floor signs like crazy and all you have to do is just throw a dynamo grenade you know it's that electric looking shock grenade i guess you just gotta throw it near a wet floor sign and it will just it'll just cause the wet floor signs to just you know exponentially duplicate like crazy and you can make some like pretty crazy piles of wet floor signs and uh, after a little bit the piles just kind of like explode and then like the signs will fly everywhere and this is definitely like one of the more hilarious glitches I've seen so far of Halo Infinite and you know it, it's I kind of wish it would be kept in the game as a feature but you know it, it probably isn't. Now this next one the, the name is probably also kind of obvious as well but magnetic plasma grenades well just watch this clip. My friend and I were playing uh, multiplayer, and then all of a sudden that grenade stuck us, we blew up. And you might have noticed something odd about the plasma grenade that stuck us. If you didn't, let's watch it again in super slow motion and see the path of the plasma grenade. So there it comes, and it makes a 90 degree turn and just snaps to my warthog, and then sticks to it, and then explodes and blows us both up. You know, I wasn't even like mad at that. I was just like, wow, that's uh, that was unexpected. <laughs> and hopefully things like that will get like patched out or fixed in upcoming uh, updates in the final game. Now this next one is a classic Halo 2 glitch. Um, tactically, it's a BXR from Halo 2, it's BXB in this game. But basically your melee canceling, which has been around for a while in many previous Halo games, except Every time you melee cancel, the melee still counts, and it's uh, it's such an OP glitch. Like it's you pretty much just like you can melee very rapid melee through pretty much enemy shields, and even over shields just get like shredded by this glitch, as you can see. Some people actually want this glitch to stay, but I I don't know. It's pretty OP, and it's a lot harder than you know the Halo 2 BXR glitches. But anyways, in this next clip provided by Norwin SLG. This glitch is actually another pretty OP trick where you can actually use your grapple hook on a flag, which normally you're supposed to pick it up, but in this case, you can prevent it from being picked up. And instead, it will just fling the map across the entire map from the enemy base right to your base, where if someone's waiting there, they can just pretty much pick it up and then score it instantly. It's a pretty OP trick there. In this next clip, also provided by Norwin SLG, this one's actually a more funny glitch where um, sometimes if you grapple something, your grapple hook gets stuck and well, it, it just stays that way and it doesn't it doesn't like reset itself or anything. Your grapple just just gets stuck on something until you like uh, switch weapons or, or get rid of it. So yeah, it's a pretty random one that happens. I've seen it a few times across Twitter, but it's a uh, it does happen. This next glitch is probably one that you it's like difficult to notice unless you're like looking for it or you look closely but in games when the time runs out when the timer gets below like a minute the uh the seconds that it counts uh becomes inaccurate or rather it, it's not counting the milliseconds correctly or fast enough so let's look at the timer closely now so you can see it is um it's just like it's not counting down by seconds anymore nor are there milliseconds being counted down by like you know milliseconds you would, you would expect the milliseconds to be counting down faster but it's actually counting down the milliseconds in like random intervals like i don't think sometimes it's like one millisecond sometimes it's a few uh i don't think there's any like set pattern so for some reason when it gets below a minute the the timer gets a little inaccurate it loses accuracy now this next one is a classic dead body glitch from classic ha from previous Halo games. Those, you know, <laughs> these kind of glitches, there's many different types. I'll just show you one example for this, but uh, sometimes, you know, your body's ragdoll gets all messed up or stretches or gets stuck in certain uh, 
uh, terrain, and you can get some pretty funny results. And you know, these have been around in Halo games for quite a while, and it's uh, it's nice to see that that they've actually still carried over from previous Halo games. Now, this next one is uh, another odd one. So, if you're in like a capture the flag game, for example, and you end in a tie, you go into the overtime where whoever scores first wins. Well, if people still tie in overtime, then you go to sudden death. But then if you tie in sudden death, the game actually doesn't handle that correctly. It, As you saw there on the um, game over thing, it says heading to overtime, which is what happens when you have a tie. But when you when you tie in sudden death, the game just ends and you know it, the, both teams tie. It doesn't actually go to overtime again, which can cause a little bit of confusion there. I know we were confused, like, oh no, it's, it's not going to overtime again. This game is going on for so long. But yeah, that's that's what happened there, and it's a it's a small glitch, but it's uh it's just something with the game like not uh, correctly accounting for you know ending sudden death overtime in a tie. All right, for this last one, here's another classic one that's been around for a long time in Halo games. Where if you look down at your body, uh, it actually it wasn't this easy in previous Halo games, but if you like spin around a little bit, you can actually see like the uh, uh, the inside of your body in this case. Like you can see your whole torso, <laughs> like it's it's like separated from the rest of the body. And you've been able to do that in a lot of previous Halo games when there's been like a lot of lag. But in this case, you could just see it. So yeah, that's uh most of the. Um, bigger or more noticeable glitches that I've noticed so far. If there's anything I missed, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like. And let me, like, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.